This afternoon, I have the honor to be here with you all and I will bring you on a journey to the deep jungle of Indonesia and to the deep sea of Indonesia. Indonesia, have you heard about Indonesia as the hotspot of biodiversity in the world? Yes, no? Okay, for those who are not very familiar, I'll give you some glimpse of how bountiful Indonesia is. But sadly, because it is bountiful, sometimes we take it for granted. This moment, I hope by the presentation, I will be able to persuade you to do good for humanity, to create a living planet in which wildlife, human living in harmony. Okay, are you ready? Okay, the overview, there are rule of three. Uh, first, I would like to introduce you to WWF Indonesia, what we are doing here. And then I will also um, invite you to learn some of our communications and public relations pillars because you are PR professionals and PR professionals to be. And third one, how could you participate? This is the transformation of WWF Indonesia. We were established in 1962. It means we've been in Indonesia for quite some time. We are the longest, the biggest, and probably, um, hopefully, uh, we contribute to the betterment of Indonesia. This is our global practices and drivers. Um, and by practices, it's what we are doing. Perhaps what you've learned about WWF, mostly about the people who are, care about animals, right? But we are that and more than that. We work in, of course, wildlife. Uh, and then we also work in oceans, forests, freshwater, climate and energy, and last but not least, also food. Please raise your hand. Uh, do you know that our food doesn't only come from go food, grab food? Yeah? For some young generations, including my daughter, they only know that food source from supermarket or let's just order. In fact, our nature provides for us. But again, we forget what nature provides us. What we know is everything will still be there, even though we don't protect it. That's sad, but that's true. That's why we need to do our act together to make sure that our um, source of food, our fresh water, the clean air will be there for us. Are you guys ready to do that in our daily life? I'm so glad to see uh, surround the campus. You already did some great work with regard to recycle, reuse, uh, reduce. That's awesome. Two thumbs up. Keep up the good work, Ibu, Candy. <laughs> and then, uh, here are some of the uh, places where we work. Landscape and seascape. So basically, we work in across the archipelago in all the 17,000 islands in Indonesia. Nice. Time does so fly here. It's already 10 minutes or... Um, let's open one of the sites where we work, Ujung Kulon. This is our first site in which we conserve one of the endemic species of Indonesia. Do you know what it is? Badak, betul sekali. It's a rhino. Okay, that's a glimpse of our site. 
uh, let's move on. In all the Panda batch over there, that's where our office located. So for those of you who are interested in joining our course, do apply for um, becoming an intern, volunteer. Uh, the door is always open. Uh, I'm here to call up my colleague, uh, Tara. Tara, please stand up. This is Tara's second day. She's a student from University of Pajajaran, uh, Faculty of Law, ya. Yeah. yeah, second day. Please give me a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. She's um, an example of how her love of wildlife being channeled for a concrete action. So please do join us in this uh, course. This is our organizational structure. Uh, Pak Rizal Malik is our CEO. He was here uh, to address one of the discussion events by LSPR. And probably for now, I'm the only female in the senior management team. Hopefully there will be more female leaders in the future. Do you agree? Yeah. Because not only biodiversity, diversity in leadership is also important. And we are hiring. This is good news perhaps for you, the art professionals. We still have one vacant position in my team to uh, serve as creative production manager. Gak apa-apa ya sambil beriklan. All right, this is our communications objectives. Um, what we do is we want to help the loss of biodiversity by 2030. We consider this as smart goal because it is um, specific, it's attainable, it's realistic, and there is a timetable for that. And we choose 2030 for that. Um, and we will do it by establishing a new deal for nature and people by engaging 1 billion people around the world, engaging decision makers, engaging you, each one of you as voters, as consumers. You have the power to say, no, I don't want unsustainable products, for example. Or no, I don't want to have wildlife as pets in my house. That's not the um, reflection of love. Sometimes if we love someone, we don't own them, right? We don't necessarily have to own them. Itu juga, itu cinta itu tidak selalu harus memiliki. Biarkan wildlife adanya di hutan. <laughs> okay, kita juga, we want to make nature matter. Earlier in my presentation, I told you that somehow we take things for granted. We believe that nature will provide us ever forever. While we know that even though our natural resources are bountiful, this is not without limit. Mahatma Gandhi once said that this earth can provide for everyone's need, but not for everyone's greed. Yeah? Close enough. <laughs> Jadi, Boleh ya, uh, please allow me to speak uh, campur-campur, bilingual, karena saya anak jakso. Um, jadi tidak, in, uh, bumi ini tersedia natural resources-nya untuk semua, kebutuhan semua orang, tapi tidak untuk keserakahan. Karena there is no uh, limit for green. Selalu akan selalu haus, pengen terus kuasin diri, kuasin keserakahan. Uh, and last, we want to inspire the world to act by 2020. Why 2020? This is super year. We call it super year because next year, there will be at least three international agreements that will determine our future. The first, Convention on Biological Diversity. The CBD, Convention for Biodiversity, will be convened in China uh, to have IG target uh, being reviewed, have 
Anyone have any idea about what IG target is? <laughs> okay, I understand that not everyone is conservationist, maybe not familiar about IG. This is a target in which everyone, every single citizen of the world, must understand the meaning and the importance of biodiversity. And by, the, by biodiversity, atau keanekaragaman hayati, dan nama saya mengandung uh, Alice Nur Hayati, gitu ya. And I was born on the Earth Day, April 22. Yeah, that's why I'm so big about conservation. <laughs> Itulah IG target, jadi semua perlu tahu apa itu maknanya, apa itu kegunaannya memiliki keanekaragaman hayati. Keanekaragaman hayati itu bisa tentang ber, uh, keberagaman spesies uh, satwa ataupun tumbuhan. Dan Indonesia itu pemilik biodiversity yang paling kaya sedunia, karena tidak hanya di daratan, kita juga di lautan, gitu. Jadi kita nomor satu, Bapak Ibu, kita dulu untuk Indonesia. Kita harus bangga dan selain bangga juga perlu menjaganya. Alright. Uh, oh, bentar. Uh, the second agreement is sustainable development goals. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with SDGs. And the last one, Paris Agreement. It has something to do with our climate change. Who do we want to target? Of course, when we talk about uh, communication plan, communication strategy, we have our target audience in mind, right? So we group this into three. Uh, the further, uh, the furthest uh, right is influencer target, in which us, the masses, the civil society, uh, and part of us also, key opinion leaders, at least in our family, right? Uh, we want them to influence the second uh, grouping in the middle in which they are the one who will make laws or uh, regulate um, how we do things, how uh, what products are available in the market. Uh, that's why we uh, target our work toward these groups. Uh, remember the previous slides in which I um, explained about who are our target audience, who, what are the pillars, and what the communication plan. Now let's talk about the five pillars of WWF. First is brand development. In brand development, we have IT, IT target, I will not repeat. We have global deal, I will not repeat. And this is the opportunity for each of us to contribute. This is the baseline in which we work. We will want to have these numbers uh, change into better. Uh, for now, it's still like half of us know, understand, pernah dengar biodiversity itu apa, tapi tidak selalu mengerti artinya apa untuk kita dan harus diapain. Nah, hopefully, Dengan PR, dengan communication plan, dengan communications work, we will galvanize support toward raising awareness people regarding biodiversity. I will skip this and let's watch a video.
proceed with using the second part of my time allocation to talk about the second pillar and the next pillars. Earth Hour. Anyone attended or participated in on Earth Hour? Yes. Thank you. The Mother Nature. Thank you. Uh, let's be part of a global movement to do something concrete for our Mother Nature. And it's from the simplest act of turning off your electricity for 13, for 60 minutes. But of course, not only on the last Saturday of March each year, we hope that Earth Hour will last every day. 365 days a year, okay? <laughs> I hope it doesn't ask you too much. Thank you. <laughs> Earth Hour is supported by volunteers in 30 cities across Indonesia. And LSPR students, please do join this cause. It's easy. All you need to do is just sign up and be volunteer. Organize your own Earth Hour event. That's your contribution. The third pillar is education and youth outreach. This is our planet education. I will talk about our planet later uh, in the next slide. Just today, we signed an MOU with Gerakan Pramuka, who has uh, members up until 15 million in Indonesia and 50 million around the world. So this is something big for us. Um, and our Education for Sustainable Development has touched upon um, schools in Heart of Borneo and in Papua, Sumatra. And we hope to bring this nationally in Jakarta. If you are interested in joining this Education for Sustainable Development, please do, please do let me know. Fourth pillar is Living Planet Report. This is flagship publication um, we publish every two years. And the latest publication stated that we lost one million species only in 40 years. So that's sad, but that's not the end of the world. We can do something to reverse the trend. Living Planet Report guide us on how scientifically we could do something. Jangan hanya gloom and doom scenario ya, just like um, usually NGO people will say, wow, our city is sinking, terus panik, terus nggak bisa ngapa ngapain. No, we don't want to end people with pessimism. We want to inspire people to do something about about the problem. Uh, let's watch another video, shall we? Mari jaga rumah kita, kita cuma punya satu planet bumi. Walaupun um, walaupun Jeff Bezos atau siapa itu yang SpaceX katanya kita bisa pindah ke planet lain, itu belum tentu. Mendingan kita lindungi planet yang sekarang aja dulu gitu ya, yang udah jelas. Oke, okay. last pillar is 
our planet. This is documentary by three organizations, WWF, Netflix, siapa yang suka nonton Netflix, yang streaming Netflix, nah nonton Our Planet ya, jangan hanya apa itu, banyaklah, too many to mention, uh, jangan hanya drakor dan lain-lain gitu. Um, and the uh, last organization is Silver uh, Back Film, uh, filmmakers dari BBC, BBC nama uh, household name for all the high quality productions. So our planet adalah cara kita untuk raising awareness among you, young generations, yang sukanya pop culture, supaya you guys are familiar with how the state of our world is. Our Planet Focal Months, kalau LSPR tertarik nonton bareng Our Planet, ada 8 episode, kita nobar bareng. Ayo kasih tahu kalau mau. Mari Few kita realize that saving the planet is within reach. We've worked out all the problems. We're working on all the solutions. Most of them we can do now, and over time, all of them will help the economy. Our population growth is actually slowing down, and in 50 years' time, it will plateau. There's never been a better opportunity to take control. The plan is obvious. Stop doing the stupid stuff. Roll out the new green tech and systems as they arrive. Keep hold of the natural wealth we currently have, and in 50 years' time, we'll be past the worst of it. More than that, we'll have built a world with eternal energy, clean air and water, a stable, healthy world that we can benefit from forever. So what's stopping us? This opportunity is out of sight. Each of us is blinkered by the demands of here and now. Big picture, long term, they're not in our field of vision. That must change if we're going to change. Enter our planet. Our planet is a collaboration between Netflix, the World Wildlife Fund, and Silverback Films. Our ambition is to partner with the most innovative tech companies and bring a revolution in perspective to one billion people. We're going to create a landmark 4K television series and a raft of cross-media content with global reach to open people's eyes to the path ahead. Because if a billion people can see the path, we may just start down it in time. Our Planet ini narrated by David Attenborough. I'm sure some of you are familiar with David Attenborough. Okay, enough about this. Uh, these are some of our campaign. There are ongoing campaigns that you could participate. Uh, let's see one of them is Eyes on the Forest. This is um, uh, investigation um, on how illegal logging happened in our uh, rainforest and WWF with local partners secretly do some investigation and reported it to my old alma mater KPK and with that um, with collaboration finally one of the province the governor three times hat trick goes to KPK and being jail for the licensing that is not quite right. It's bribery, it's ridden with corruption, um, collusion, and nepotism that harms our planet. So there is a connection between protecting nature and eradication of corruption. So yeah, all right. Um, also, this is the uh, last, the latest campaign that carried out by WWF. 
in which we fight against illegal wildlife trade. This is how you youngsters could help. If you happen to know there is a transaction being conducted on e-commerce or media sosial, gitu ya, Facebook, Kaskus, misalnya, they trade uh, some wildlife, report it to e pelaporan Satwa Dilindungi Bares Krim Kepolisian atau kepada KPK atau kepada uh, Kementerian Lingkungan Hidup dan Kehutanan. And the second thing that you could do is sign up a petition in which we ask the parliamentarians to change the bill, oh no, the law, Undang-Undang 5 tahun 90, di mana Undang-Undang itu hukumannya ringan banget gitu untuk pelanggar yang melakukan transaksi perdagangan satwa liar dilindungi. So, you could do either of that. Ya, yeah, in summary, this is what we do from PR perspective. We demonstrate that nature makes people's lives better. We want to engage broader and more diverse younger audiences karena kalau kita apa rely on uh, older generation sudah tidak ada harapan. Harapannya adalah di kalian. Lalu help get people involved in a meaningful and personally relevant way. Ini video terakhir. Saya masih punya 257 menit lagi. To pose now, sure she makes the sound the sound she made to calm me down. Oh. Together possible. Thank you so much.